In this video, I'm going to explain how to check in code when using the Azure DevOps server with a Git based repository. Now this video assumes that you have already gone through the steps of cloning your Git repository to your computer and you already have a local folder set up. So to get started, I'm going to start a new project. So going up to the file menu and selecting project, and we're going to make a basic .NET Core application just for testing purposes so you can see the steps. So getting started with this, giving it a name, and then the important part here is that the location where this is saved must be the same file location as the repo that you have already cloned. So in my case, and you can see over here in the Git repository window, I cloned one named CIS150. This is the file location where that repository is located. If you don't remember where your repository is saved, I'll show you how to locate that. So I'm gonna put this location here and we'll go ahead and next and create so that we get our application. You'll know that you have done this correctly if in the Git changes window over on the side, you can see all of the project files for the application you just created. If you don't have this window open already, you can find it under the view menu. And you can find your Git changes and your Git repository window here under view. Going back to the problem of not knowing where your repo is located from the Git repository window or from the Git menu, you can go to open in file explorer and this will open a window taking you directly to the repo location on your computer. So now that we have our project created, we can go to our Solution Explorer and see the project here, just as we have probably always done since we learned how to use Visual Studio. And we can open our program.cs file to see the code inside. Now, I like to make an initial commit before I start making any changes to my code. And we can do that from the Git Changes window. Again, if you don't have this window on the side, you can get it from the View menu. We have to enter a check-in message, and this check-in message should contain information about your changes or what is the purpose of this commit. So in this case, I'm gonna put that this is the initial commit, and then we can click Commit All. This will take all of the files we currently see in the Changes window and commit them to the repo. Now this is a two-step process, committing adds it to the um, list of commits on your local GitHub, so your local computer. We have not uploaded these files to the server yet. And in fact, if we look at the files on the server using the website, we can go to our project on the website, go into repos and go into files, and we can see that it's currently empty. So the next step is to push. So we can push by going to the push arrow here on the side. Um, you can see that right here in my Git Changes window. We can also find this if we go to our Git repository window, we can see that we have one outgoing and we need to push. So if we click push, it's going to go ahead and we can see it uploaded. We could see that activity in the Git Changes window. We get a commit, uh, we get a successfully pushed, and then let's go to the website and double check. So now if I go to my repo and I refresh, I can now see here is my project. I can see my commit. I can see the commit message and I can see when it happened. So as you work on your project and add additional code or make changes, you'll see those changes show up in the Git Changes window, and you can enter a message. And then remember, it's a two-step process. We commit, 
and then we push. And you can sometimes see from the solution explorer window if that's happened, but you can always look to see in your Git repository, again, if you have outgoing and you can push to make sure that your files are up to date. So once you have that confirmation successfully pushed, we have no more outgoing. We can see our commits and our commit messages. And that concludes our video on how to check in your work using a Git repository on Azure DevOps Server.